Good evening, sir, and good evening, everyone. Our topic for today is about strain index. We are the group two, Evelyn Enoneco, Feli Palencia. Instructor, Mr. Boris Bisaga, and April 18, 2024. Introduction. In this analysis, the focus in the manual handling task of lifting and moving boxes within the warehouse setting, the strain index, a semi-quantitative ergonomic tool, will be utilized to evaluate the ergonomic rest link to these activities or job. The strain index is a tool used when you need to calculate the risk of developing a musculoskeletal disorder in the hand intensive work. Repeated Tasks in the hands can lead to the level of discomfort in the hands, wrist, and elbow. The strain index was proposed by Mori and Gerge, 1995, to assist job risk of work-related musculoskeletal disorder in the distal upper extremities, hands, wrist, and elbow. It was developed using existing knowledge of biomechanical, biomechanic physiology and epidemiology and used to assist job, not a person. Oh, hello, my name is Evelyn. I'm presenting part of the assignment. And this assignment, uh, we choose 10 index um, because it is a systematic quantitative economic assessment tools, uh, specially designed for assessing manual handling tasks. It offers a systematic method of evaluating such as uh, intensive of absorption, duration of exertion, hand uh, slash uh, wrist uh, posture, um, effort per minute, speed of work, and duration of the task um, per day. The formula to compute the strain index is given by strain index equals frequency times duration times posture thus times coupling times other factors uh, multiplied by where frequency the number of exertion per minute duration total time spent during the task in hours and posture a score is assigned based on the awkwardness of the body posture during the task. Coupling a score is assigned based on the degree to what the task involves simultaneous movement of different body parts. Other factors, additional factors that contribute to the overall strain such as force exerted and duration of recovery period. Its component is assigned a score based on predetermined criteria and the score are then multiplied together to obtain the final strength index score. This score is used to categorize the ergonomic risk level associated with a test with higher score indicating a greater risk of musculoskeletal injury. Before using the strength index, the following limitation should be considered. It predicts the risk of injury, but not a particular disorder. Can be completed using qualitative estimates for three of six variables. Multiple task analysis is not covered, considering of a variety of tasks such as those of maintenance employee. Discriminating between light and somewhat hard for the int intensity of exertion appears to be critical. Summary findings. After conducting the strain index assessment, Several significant findings were revealed regarding the manual handling task of lifting and moving boxes in the warehouse setting. Frequent bending and twisting of the trunk. Worker frequently bend and twist 
their trunk during lifting and moving boxes, increasing the risk of back and strain musculoskeletal injuries due to excessive strain of the spine. Exceeding recommended weight limits. Box weight exceeds safe lifting limit causing high physical exertion and risk of back injury. Adjustment in load management and mechanical lifting aids needed. Repetitive hand movement and gripping. Repetitive hand movement and gripping in the box can cause fatigue and strain, increasing the risk of repetitive injuries like carpal tunnel syndrome, ergonomic handle, or paddle gloves can alleviate strain. High frequency of lifting and moving High frequency of lifting and moving boxes increases ergonomic risk factors and muscular dis uh, disorder. Job rotation and frequent rest breaks can reduce this effect on workers' health. Recommendations based on analysis. Based on the analysis of manual box lifting and moving tasks in a warehouse environment, we propose these recommendations to improve economic conditions and minimize injury risk. One, implement mechanical lift aids. Incorporate equipment like forklifts, pallet jacks, or conveyors to reduce manual lifting and alleviate stains on workers' back. By utilizing this ACE, heavy loads can be handled more efficiently, reducing physical um, exertion and lowering the risk and likelihood of musculoskeletal injuries or disorders. Provide training on proper lift techniques. Workers should be educated or educate on appropriate lifting method and ergonomic postures. Emphasize on the importance of using um, leg muscles instead of the back and maintain a neutral spine alignment while lifting or while lifting or transporting any item in the warehouse. Three. Modify warehouse layout. Adjust warehouse layout. Position heavier items at waist level and streamline workflow procedures for efficiency and reduce lifting tasks. Rotate work workers between tasks. Implement a job rotation system, flexible schedule, ensure that workers are alternate between um, each task in order to uh, reduce overexertion and improve economic, economic conditions in manual lifting tasks. This reduce work-related injuries and promote health and safety in the work in the warehouse environment conclusion in conclusion the research underscore the urgent necess necessity for the measure to alleviate the ergonomic risk associated with manual box lifting and transport Transportation in the warehouse, the adoption of strategies such as ergonomic training, the use of mechanical lifting aids, load management adjustment, and scheduled rest period can reduce the hazard and enhance a worker well being. The application of this suggestion can substantially improve the ergonomic situation of manual handling activities decrease the likelihood of occupational injuries and foster a healthier, safer workplace for warehouse employee. Thank you for listening and 
Hope you like and understand our presentation for today.